the array fill method changes all the elements inside an array with a provided value. Let's see that in an example. We have a numbers array containing the numbers from 1 to 5. And let's say we want to change all of these numbers to 0. We can do numbers fill 0. And now if we console.log the numbers array, you can see that we have an array with 5 elements. All of them will be 0. Keep in mind that the fill method will change the array on which is called upon. And also it will return the array modified. So if we want to store this num2 for example, we can see we have numbers and num2 will be the same array. Not only it modifies it, it also returns it. Also in the fill method you can specify the start index and the end index. So let's remove this and let's say we want to add zeros from the first index till the fourth index not included. If we save this now, you can see that the index 1, 2 and 3 are changed, but not the index 0 and 4, because this goes up to 4. By default, these values are 0 and uh, the length of the array, so it will change the entire array. I use this method when I want to create an array that will have all the numbers from 1 till n. Let's create a function and do that. I'm going to remove this. Let's clear the console. Console.clear. Like that, so we have a clean console. And now we're given a function which we want to fill in numbers or something like that. And we're given an n. And we will return a new array of length n. And we will fill this array with something. Let's say 0 for now. And then we're going to map over the elements. We're going to take the index, which is the second argument of the callback provided to the map function, and we will return index plus 1. And now if we console.log fill in numbers with, for example, 10, we will get an array with numbers from 1 to 10. So we're creating an array of length n provided from the function, then we're filling in with zeros, we need something, it won't work if we don't fill uh, some value, and then we're looping over and we're changing the elements inside the array by the index plus 1. We want plus 1 because by default index starts with 0. This is one example where I used fill in different coding challenges for example. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!